ลูดูคอยดานักพรายุรุยนีนาวิดโมเลตี And we have a flame that represents freedom. And this country, the United States of America, promotes democracies and supports democracies around the world. Each and every one of us has a responsibility as a citizen in this country to contact your representatives in Congress so that we can get the aid to the Ukrainian people, to the Ukrainian army. Because when they had the aid, when they had the ammunition and the guns and the stuff that they needed, they were fighting and winning. And right now, this is stalled in the United States House of Representatives. United States Senate has passed it. The President of the United States is ready, willing, and will sign it. But it's up to the House of Representatives with a very narrow majority that is holding this up. They need to hear from each and every one of you. You can call your representative, Mr. Rouser, and other representatives from the delegation that represents the state of North Carolina, and tell them to support the aid package for Ukraine. This is Barbara, and she organized this event that I'm showing you today. Can you tell me a few words about it? Well, we wanted to join Wilmington with all the other cities throughout the country and the world to recognize the two-year anniversary, if you want to call it that, commemoration of the invasion of Ukraine, the actual brutal full-scale invasion of Ukraine that took place two years ago exactly on this day. We wanted to stand in solidarity and also commemorate and recognize the resilience and the determination and courage of Ukraine, its people, its armed forces, its volunteers, all of them, to show our support. It was well, well organized and we, I was just absorbing every word that you said. Uh -huh. Thank uh -huh. you for uh, teaching us to stand for what we believe. Well, you have to stand while we still have a democracy. You know, we take things for granted until their freedoms and democracy is taken away from you and then it's too late. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how important that is. This is politics now at our level. We can do something about it to support the Ukrainian cause and the Ukrainian people. And believe me when I tell you this, the world, the world right now is looking at the United States of America to determine whether we are going to stand for peace and for democracies around the world. Because if Ukraine falls, others will fall behind it. And believe me, the Chinese are looking at this also because if Ukraine falls, Taiwan will fall, Poland will be next, Estonia, all the countries of the old Soviet Union is what Putin wants. Putin is a killer. He killed his political adversaries, he even killed his own military chiefs that were against him, that criticized him. He is no good. He is bad for the world and he is bad for peace. And what we saw the Russians do in Syria, where 2.4 million Syrians fled Syria and went into Europe after what the catastrophe and the bombings of all of the cities in Syria was unbelievable. And I can't believe he got away with that. And so if we don't stand as citizens to tell our elected representatives in Washington, we've got to support the Ukrainian cause, the Ukrainian people, it will fall. And God help us if it does, because then Europe, all of Europe, could be at risk. NATO was created, and a lot of these pacts were created in the aftermath of World War II. And I don't have to tell a lot of you this, but 63 million people lost their lives during World War II. And we said as a country and as a world, we did not want to go fight another world war. We created these pacts to support the Europeans, to support the people in the Pacific realm against the aggressors of China and Russia and other places 
that want to see bad things happen and to take over those countries and to use them the way they want to use them and to take away those freedoms and to take away those liberties. This country stands for something and it stands for freedom and democracy and if we don't stand up and tell the world that we support them in that, then the dictators will take over. World, you think of Taiwan, you think of China, um, it won't end in Ukraine. They've even said it, they publicly brag about it. So when many doubters, as did Putin, thought Ukraine would fall in three days after the invasion, they underestimated a number of things, that being to start with the bravery, spirit, and resilience of its people. Two years later, Ukraine still stands. So repeat after me, does Ukraine still stand? Ukraine still stands. Ukraine still stands. Yes. It's important that we continue to support Ukraine and its people against Russian terrorism because the people of Ukraine strongly be uh, believe in and support its defenders, the armed forces of Ukraine. The civilians and soldiers, who by the way come from all walks of life, are immensely grateful for your donations, your support, your heartfelt messages. It really matters to them. It boosts their morale, their determination, and everything positive in general. Uh, comparatively speaking, so this is like you and me. Um, I have, I was a tennis player in Ukraine, that's why I came to the United States, so I know many tennis players. Um, one of them is Sergei Stachowski, he was very famous and he went to fight. He was actually outside the country uh, with his family, three kids. He actually legally can leave Ukraine. Because he has three kids, he was outside Ukraine. But he, he had, he's actually pretty well, uh, he, he's a businessman. But he's a kind of example of many, many men and women who uh, went to defend their country. And uh, some of the pictures I show of, you know, ordinary people, like a young boy, 21 years old, son of my friend, um, who died. My uh, former coach also died to win defend. Um, so that's something people really forget. Uh, and I think that that is very important because we can associate ourselves with those people. Like uh, there's a girl I know and she has a toddler. I have a toddler too. She just graduated from college and she went to fight. Um, and it's, it's very different and what it's showing is that the very values that this country is built on, values of freedom, of dignity, of uh, democracy, and this is why people like that are going in to defend their home and those values. Mr. Putin. We need to stand up and say no. We have an opportunity to do so. All you have to do is pick up the telephone or get on your computer and please notify your representatives that this is important to us, to the world, to the Ukrainian people. Please, that's the best I can tell you to do. It's the only thing that we can do right now is to do that and to continue to do it until that aid package is packed. So God bless you, God bless the people of the Ukraine, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.